The movement is far from over because it has long moved beyond one bill or one person. Our most important demand is genuine structural change in Hong Kong, which means free election. Our government's lack of representation lies at the heart of the matter. As I speak, Hong Kong is standing at a critical juncture. The stakes have never been higher. We are confronted by the huge Chinese military buildup just across the border in Shenzhen. President Xi Jinping is unlikely to take hardline action before the upcoming National Day in October. But no one can be sure what's next. Welcome. As a singer and activist from Hong Kong, I have experienced the suppression firsthand. I strongly realize now is the time for the U.S. Congress to pass the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act, and also I hope U.S. government could reveal its foreign policy to China to prioritize human rights issues, especially now we are not only suffering in the political, but even humanitarian crisis. The first time for me to be in prison is two years ago. I remember I watched TV news on how Beijing authorities announced the no term limit for president in the future, which just let me realize that when I was in prison and the one who locked me up in prison, which means the authoritarian rule represented by President Xi, will be the Emperor Xi. Ms. Ho, welcome.